In this video, I'm going to show you how you can pause or sleep your C sharp code. So I have a little application here, I'm going to slow down. You can see now if I click on this, the code runs immediately. Now let's put it to sleep. So to sleep our C sharp code, we need to add the reference to system.threading.tasks in the top of our file. After that, we can simply call the thread.sleep method. As you can see, I've done this here. And it wants one argument, a number here. This is a number of milliseconds the applications should sleep for. There are 1000 milliseconds in one second, so this code will sleep for five seconds. Let's start the application and see what happens now. So now when I click on the button, it does nothing for five seconds. And now it's finished running. So with one line of code, you can sleep your application. So is there anything else we need to know about thread.sleep? This should take an argument that is zero or greater. Zero will mean that it will carry on running as soon as the thread is ready. If you want your thread to sleep forever, then you can use timeout.infinitetimespan. And to use this, we have to add a reference to system.threading. So you can see we have this now. So now when I run the application, it will run forever. Are there any other issues when using thread.sleep? This method isn't really recommended if you're building web applications because you will block web process threads. Uh, if your web server is really busy, then this is uh, not a good thing to do. If you're building web applications, then you should investigate the use of the task library. So when is it a good idea to use thread.sleep? I use it a lot if I'm making third-party API calls. For example, here, this is to try and slow down my program so that it doesn't alarm the web server that I'm calling. I also use it on user interfaces to slow down user output and make sure people have a chance to read output that's appearing on the screen. I hope you found this short tutorial useful. If you have any other questions about C Sharp, then drop comments below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thanks for watching.